Alberta, Canada is home to amazing natural areas with stunning and varied landscapes and rich biodiversity. The natural landscapes range from mountains and ice fields to grasslands, plains, boreal forests, wetlands, and the arid badlands. In this video, I will highlight some must-visit natural areas of the province. These are some of my favorites to get you started when planning your trip. So with that, sit back and relax and enjoy our journey across Alberta to some of the top natural areas. We will begin in the Rocky Mountains with a place most have all heard of, and that is Banff National Park. Banff National Park is Canada's oldest national park and was established in 1885 as Rocky Mountains Park. Located in Alberta's Rocky Mountains, Banff encompasses 6,641 square kilometers of mountainous terrain. The park attracts around 4 million visitors a year. Some of my favorite and easy to access locations are highlighted here. There is what seems like endless breathtaking views in all directions, so you really can't go wrong anywhere in this park. The Icefields Parkway extends from Lake Louise, connecting to Jasper National Park in the north, and is an absolute must, as most will say it is one of the most scenic drives in the world. Jasper National Park. It is the largest national park within Alberta's Rocky Mountains, spanning 11,000 square kilometers. It was established as a national park in 1930. The park contains the glaciers of the Columbia Ice Field, lakes, waterfalls, mountains, and more. There are many great easy to access natural areas, but only a small fraction of the park is road accessible. The rest forms a large backcountry area that is definitely worth looking into for the more adventurous. Kananaskis country is west of Calgary, Alberta, in the foothills and front ranges of the Canadian Rockies. The area is named for the Kananaskis River, which was named by John Palliser in 1858. Archaeological evidence of humans in Kananaskis country goes back over 8,000 years. The indigenous have deep connections to this land. It covers an area of approximately 4,000 square kilometers. The area includes provincial parks, provincial recreation areas, wildland provincial parks, ecological reserves, and crown land. If visiting the Rocky Mountains of Alberta, I highly recommend exploring and not overlooking beautiful Kananaskis country. The prairies meet the peaks of the Rocky Mountains in Waterton Lakes National Park, and it is located in the southwest corner of Alberta. It borders Glacier National Park in Montana, United States. It was made a national park in 1895 and named after Waterton Lake. The park contains 505 square kilometers of rugged mountains, lakes, waterfalls, and wilderness waiting to be explored. There is so much packed into this relatively small park and is an area I will definitely be spending more time in the future. This is just a glimpse of what you can expect in this stunning area.
Next, we move out of the mountain areas and into the vast prairie lands and grasslands. The soil of this region is some of the best in Canada and the landscape is mostly flat with gently rolling hills. Vast fields of wheat, barley, canola and other crops dominate the landscape. To see the beautiful canola fields in full bloom, mid to late July is usually a good bet. Chase the many frequent severe storms in summer in the big skies of the open prairies. Farmland suddenly drops away into what feels like another world. Spanning east from Drumheller to Saskatchewan and south to the United States, this region is known as the Canadian Badlands. It is home to the largest deposits of dinosaur fossils in the world. Ravines, gullies, buttes, hoodoos and other rock formations are common in the Badlands. Many of Alberta's Badlands were initially formed as a result of rapid erosion by glacial meltwater. Now we will finally travel north to where we transition to the boreal forest region. It covers over 58% of Alberta's landmass. This region contains vast forests mixed with extensive wetlands that are mostly untouched, that provide important habitat and refuge for many species of wildlife. There is no problems finding dark skies with low light pollution to stargaze. Also in these northern parts of the province you have a better chance of seeing the aurora borealis where it is more difficult to see further to the south. The aurora is one of the top natural wonders of the world and should be on everyone's list. As you can see, Alberta has so much to offer. There are many more great areas, but these are some of my favorites that I have personally visited over the last 10 to 15 years. Let me know down below in the comments what are your favorite areas to explore in Alberta and what areas you would recommend if not mentioned in this video. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you on the next adventure.